Well, hello, hello, what have we here? And you might be asking yourself, why in the f is this in the intermediate section? Uh, well, that's because uh, if you know a thing or two, I got this thing done to probably 70% in about 25 minutes. First things first, yes, I was wrong about Glexo, but that was not what did it. Some understanding of some pressures and how crowns flow, that, well, that's gonna be the key. The full version of this 41 minute tutorial is gonna be over at www.realworld.com. If you're already over there, that's awesome. If not, what are you doing, man? 25 minutes. So I did do another video using Glexo, and I will never tell Casper, but it's actually working pretty well. I'm not gonna give him satisfaction. He's probably not gonna watch this. Hey, what's up, YouTube? This is a look at some of the content that just went up on realworldpdr.com. So we're gonna be looking at pressures and flow. How do we flow these crowns to get this dent to come out? At first glance, I guarantee a lot of people are gonna think, well, I just gotta get some Glexo. Now, to be realistic here, that was just a tiny bit of this repair. Now, what you're really gonna pay attention to is the hammer work on this one. I'm gonna burn my way through this video because I found that YouTube doesn't like long videos. Well, at least my subscribers don't. But if you are interested in the 40 minute tutorial that I did on this dent, you can find that at www.realworldpdr.com. This next quick clip coming up is one you should probably pay attention to. Check it out. Whoa, whoa, what in the hell just happened here? Well, I'm gonna do that a couple more times. I jammed two pieces of video together. All hammer work, look at the difference of the back of that dent. I'm gonna go ahead and try something a little fancy here. So, pressures and flow, I'm gonna say it again. That is what this tutorial is all about and that is a huge part of repairing dents with paintless dent repair. This is the kind of damage some people will turn down, but in 25 minutes, take a look here, you can see that that is already pretty damned good. And that's what I'm gonna teach you to do on this tutorial at realworldpdr.com. So if you are a PDR tech working already and you just wanna up your game a bit, or if you're a brand new tech, this lesson applies equally to both. This is so often overlooked in PDR training and it just boggles my mind. Being able to understand what that metal is doing is so incredibly important to get cleaner repairs faster. What I'm trying to do is give you the tools, the thought processes that are gonna make you a better PDR technician. On realworldpdr.com, I go so in depth. In fact, in this one, I even drew some cute little pictures for you. I break down each important idea of paintless dent repair and I have tons of examples of how to use them. So don't just waste your time watching other people repair things. Come to realworldpdr.com and I will teach you how to think about these dents so you can do them too. And what do you know? Relieve the right pressures, came up, stayed up, no problem.